Cameroonian journalist Samuel Wazizi, who was arrested in August for criticizing the government's handling of a separatist revolt, has died in detention, rights group Reporters Without Borders, RSF, has said. Waziri worked with CMTV, a local broadcaster based in Southwest region, one of two areas where separatists in 2017 launched an armed campaign to establish an independent homeland for Cameroon's English-speaking minority. He was arrested on August 2, 2019 and accused of speaking critically on air about the authorities and their handling of the crisis, the watchdog said. Five days later, he was taken from a police station in the city of Boya to the local headquarters of the Army's 21st Motorist Infantry Battalion. But from then on, neither his family nor his lawyers were allowed any contact with him or given any information. We have joining us uh, to speak more on this, Bauer. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure Hello, to have you, you on, on the news. It's a pleasure to have you on the news. Um, bring us up to speed on the latest with this matter. First off, our condolences on the loss of your colleague. Uh, thank you very much. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm in Yaoundé, uh, but in Boya, where, where he was arrested, the uh, lawyers uh, are filing for, for, for an independent inquiry because um, last week the government in a statement said he had died of, um, of a blood disease. They called it severe uh, sepsis. And uh, so right now the lawyers are in Boya to file for a new case in which they are asking for an independent uh, inquiry. Um, in very simple terms, they are asking for an independent autopsy because um, we have um, uh, knowledge that he was, uh, he was tortured while in detention, although the government says he did not die of uh, torture. So what is the media community doing in response to this situation? Uh, because it, it could happen to any one of us. Yes, it could happen to anyone. First of all, we stage uh, a protest to the um, uh, to the governor's office because it happened in the southwest. And when we stage a protest to the governor's office, he washed off his hands and said, um, "When Sami Wazizi left uh, Boya for Yaounde, uh, where he was detained in a, in a location that government has not been able to tell us in a secret location, he said he was when he left the region he was doing well, that he was in good health." Uh, right now, as I speak, we also have colleagues who are demonstrating in the in the city of Douala, which is uh, which is next to uh, next to Boya. Um, they are also marching to ask for an independent uh, inquiry and for those who had a hand in his death to be uh, to be uh, tried and sentenced in court. Is this? Um... Uh, an unusual occurrence uh, with press freedom, or it is something that you have to contend with on a regular basis? We have to contend with on a regular basis because um, right now, as I speak, uh, because of pressure, uh, one of our colleagues who was also taken away from his home in Douala about three weeks ago, um, he was unable, he had, he had never reached his family. The family and the lawyers were unable to see him it was only yesterday that they were allowed to see him. Uh, the lawyers saw him. And uh, from what I got from the lawyers, he's looking uh, uh, very pale. And um, uh, that's, that's we're talking about. The name is uh, Kingsley Njoka. Um, so it's recurrent and it's become more and more uh, serious with the ongoing crisis in the Northwest and Southwest regions. So it has become very, um, very difficult for, for, for us. These are very difficult moments for journalism in Cameroon because uh, you either um, not on the good books of the, of the state or, or you are not on the good books also of the, um, of the separatist fighters. If you were to speak directly to authorities on this issue, what would be your message to them right now? My message to them is it's simple. They should allow journalists go about their job um, uh, freely because it is important for, uh, for the population to be informed about what is happening. 
And uh, we're asking that they should um, let us have an independent inquiry into what must have happened to Wazizi so that um, those who are, are responsible should be uh, tried and sentenced. You cannot imagine that for 10, 10 months we have been in the courts, we have been, uh, we have been pressing, and uh, the, the, the government comes up with a statement that he died on the same month of his arrest. And we only know about that 10 months after. It is unacceptable. Somebody somewhere is not doing their job right. We're not saying that um, as journalists, we, uh, we are sent or we cannot commit other crimes which are not in the line of our duty. But we also speaking for the common man in Cameroon. Uh, justice should be expeditious. If you, if, you, uh, 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 if you arrest somebody, you should bring him before the, before the court and let us know the charges so that right. the lawyers can defend him. And uh, if the courts find him guilty, then so be it. But right. it is unfortunate that you arrest somebody and uh, he is not seen, he is not taken to court. We don't, uh, and later on when he is dead, that is when you bring up the charges of, Unfortunately, uh, of terrorism. Um, Unfortunately, we're, we're out of time. I wish we had more time to talk about this. But thank you very much for uh, giving us an insight as to what is happening with press freedom in Cameroon. Um, stay strong and keep doing what you do. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support.